Bennu, a top-shaped rubble pile that orbits the sun in relative solitude, has been doing so for hundreds of millions of years. The asteroid, which is approximately a third of a mile across at its equator, is not a direct threat to Earth. However, there is a slight risk that Bennu will collide with Earth hundreds of years from now. According to data acquired by a NASA probe, future generations will want to carefully check the possibly hazardous asteroid Bennu as it passes close by Earth in the 22nd century. To better understand Bennu's projected course through the inner solar system, researchers analyzed data from the OSIRIS-REx mission, which spent over two years orbiting, studying, and even sampling it. They discovered that the slight possibility that the 1,700-foot-wide, 518-meter boulder may collide with our planet in the future is slightly higher than previously imagined. However, it's still nothing to be concerned about. The odds of Bennu striking Earth have risen from 1 in 2,700 to 1 in 1,750 over the next 200 years. Nearly all Bennu's most dangerous encounters will take place in the late 2100s and early 2200s. Mark the date, September 24, 2182. According to a study released, this is the day that Bennu has the greatest chance of colliding with Earth in the next 200 years. On that day, Bennu has about a 1 in 2700 chance of hitting Earth. NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies, Davida Farnokia, highlighted that the possibilities of Bennu colliding with Earth in the next century are slim, adding, We shouldn't be too worried about it. Farnokia clarified that there's no threat of a collision during that near approach. But there was some doubt before OSIRIS-REx about how certain factors, such as our planet's gravity, could affect Bennu's path, perhaps making a later collision more possible. The researchers used the OSIRIS-REx's data to investigate everything from the spacecraft's potential influence – models show it did not alter the asteroid's path – to the little force that the sun's heat may exert on a small body, known as the Yarkovsky effect. As sunlight heats Bennu's surface, the asteroid's surface re-emits energy as it cools. Because Bennu rotates, the asteroid is subjected to a modest force. The Yarkovsky effect alters Bennu's orbit over time, and Farnokia's team can now provide an exact approximation. Farnokia stated in a NASA press conference on August 11th, that this force is equivalent to the weight of three grapes on Earth, which is enough to cause Bennu to drift by 934 feet every year. OSIRIS-REx, NASA's first and humanity's third attempt to sample the surface of an asteroid, arrived at Bennu in late 2018. The spacecraft, which snagged a dusty, pebbly sample in October 2020, is now returning to Earth to deposit the valuable substance. But before grabbing its sample, OSIRIS-REx orbited Bennu for nearly two years, analyzing the rubble-strewn asteroid. It is expected to deliver samples from the asteroid in 2023. Bennu will pass close to Earth in 2135, but scientists believe it will not pose a threat to Earth at that time. It will approach Earth's surface within 123,000 miles, give or take 6,000 miles, a significantly more exact range than prior estimates. Even though this discovery eliminates many previously detected keyholes, certain keyholes and potential collision paths remain within the orbit's margin of error. From there, the team was able to modify their collision risk estimates for Bennu. The asteroid itself, or even OSIRIS-REx's data, aren't the source of the asteroid's persisting doubt about its future trajectory. It's from the rest of the solar system. Scientists need to know Bennu's exact trajectory during that encounter, 
in order to anticipate how Earth's gravity may change its orbit around the Sun, thus increasing the chance of a future collision. Humanity also has more than a century to continue monitoring Bennu's threat to Earth, and, if necessary, to moderate that threat. Space organizations are already putting the processes and technologies in place to deal with an asteroid danger. NASA's DART spacecraft will collide with a 560-foot-wide moonlet circling a near-Earth asteroid in 2022, attempting to alter the moonlet's orbit. Suppose an asteroid collision threatens humanity in the future. In that case, larger versions of these kinetic impactors may be employed to shove the asteroid into a safe orbit as long as we have at least several years' notice before the collision. NASA's discoveries, which were published in the journal Icarus, should aid in tracking other asteroids and offer Earth a better fighting chance if and when another potentially hazardous space rock approaches. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and click the notification bell so you do not miss any upcoming videos.